This video is about statistical transformations in ggplot and how we can use them to automatically make plots that capture different kinds of statistical information about the data that we're working with. And we're starting this video uh, where we left off at the end of the video talking about combining layers. And in that video, we saw that some geomes already performed some sort of statistical transformation. The most obvious of those statistical transformations that we saw was the smooth transformation. And those were, that's present in the lines that we saw that were fitted through the data, those linear models. We've also seen another kind of statistical transformation, which is called identity, which just means the raw form of the data or no transformation. And that is what applies to our points, to the geome point layer that we created. And there are a number of other statistical transformations as well that allow us to make things like histograms, density plots, box plots, uh, and other kinds of graphs that capture statistical information. And typically, we use these based on their default settings in geomes. So we'll have a geome that is designed to make a box plot, and it does the statistical transformation that we want for us. To talk through an example of this, Let's start by making a bar plot to look at the number of acacia in each different treatment. To do this, we start with the ggplot function, parentheses. We then have data is equal to acacia. And now when we go to create our mapping, we use the aesthetic function but now we only really have one variable that we're interested in, the treatment, that's x. There will be a y, which is the number of acacia in that treatment, but that's not a column in the data frame. And so we don't declare it as part of the aesthetic. It gets created for us by the geome as part of the statistical transformation. To see that, let's go ahead and add our plus, and then the geome now is geome bar to make a bar plot. And if we run this, we'll see uh, that we get a bar plot, and we can see that there are lots of acacia where all of the herbivores are excluded, and basically no acacia on the controls and something in between uh, for the other exclosures. And the way that we get this bar plot is that ggplot uses a transformation, a statistical transformation called stat count, which counts the number of rows in each group of our x-axis, of our aesthetic. And so we get the number of rows which is the number of acacia for each treatment. Another common kind of graph we want to make is a histogram to look at the distribution of some value. So let's look at the distribution of circumferences among the acacia in the data set. Again, this would be ggplot data is equal to acacia, mapping is equal to the aesthetic function, and now again there's only one column that we're really looking at which is the circ column for circumference, and so we'll have x is equal to circ and nothing on the y because the statistical transformation is going to calculate that for us, plus, and now it's geome histogram to generate a histogram. 
And so now we can see uh, the histogram of different circumferences uh, for the acacia. And this happens through the statistical transformation stat bins, which splits the circumferences into bins and counts the number of rows that fall into each bin. And we can control the details of this binning through optional arguments. For example, we could set the number of bins. The default is 30, but that looks like too many in this case because we've got a lot of gaps that probably aren't real. And so we could set the number of bins to 15 and then rerun. We can also set the bin width instead of setting the number of bins using the optional argument bin width. So we could say maybe we want five centimeter bins and then rerun and get a different result. And as with other geomes, if we want to control the visual presentation of the geome, that information also goes in this layer. So we could say uh, that the fill is equal to uh, red in quotes if we wanted to create red bars instead of gray bars. So that's the basic idea behind statistical transformations in ggplot. There are a wide array of statistical transformations to allow us to get statistical information in a graphical context, and we typically apply those by using the geome that is designed to make a particular kind of graph and therefore has the associated transformation built in. And we've seen examples of that with geome smooth, geome bar, and geome histogram. This video, this video, this video is about statistical transformations in ggplot.